I mean, for us, it's really important to be there. I mean, you need to be part of the, of the digital life. And uh, we have also seen a, a term called the digital citizen, which is getting more and more important. And that's talking about younger people growing up with a phone, and they kind of relate to the phone. Uh, so for us, it's really important that, uh, that we are part of that. And you know, as from we get up in the morning until we go to bed in the evening, the phone is always there. So for us to have a strong focus on the phone, that's really, really important. I think it's really hard to define and you could, you could actually develop and earn all your money on just doing that app. Uh, so I think for us, it's, the key thing is to get used or engaged in using the apps. As long as we get them engaged, we'll get a lot of users and they will be happy users, and that's what's important for us. Uh, so we had a storage service that we wanted to do something about, and uh, we also had a problem where, where I have a lot of photos, and all those photos needed to be stored somewhere. And I kind of kept a lot of devices I had on my computer, I had on my phone, I had on my camera, and how could I get all these together into one place? So that was kind of like the starting idea behind the, uh, the, uh, the behind capture. Um, and then we figured out, well, we need to, to kind of look into the problems, define the problems, and then find a solution for the problems for the end users. So that was kind of like our, our starting place for, for developing capture. Uh, well, we started up in, uh, this was back in the fall of 2012, uh, and we had one of our business units telling Norway they really wanted to have a, a storage service. And we said, okay, let's, let's try if we can do something about that. So we started up, we did the redesign, uh, we made it so that you can see all your photos in a timeline, and from that start until the end, we spent around nine months before we released it into the market. So that was a fairly quick project, uh, with a lot of good learnings. I would say we have had a great success in, in launching capture in, in many countries, uh, both in Europe and in Asia. Uh, those countries being very different. Uh, the good thing with, for instance, Serbia. Serbia is kind of in between, uh, let's say, Norway and Thailand. So things that we learn here in Serbia is actually good for both countries. <laughs> so that's the great thing. Um, um, we have our main focus on, on providing this service in Telenor countries, uh, of course, because we are a Telenor company. So, uh, and I would say that we had a really good success in getting this service into the market. We have, at the end of last year, about three to five million photos being uploaded every day to the service, which is quite a good amount. Uh, and we have had consistently good ratings in the, uh, in the app stores, uh, which is also a good feedback from, from the users to us. I think the most important thing is that you need to find a problem that you can solve for the end user. Uh, if you have the right problem and you can find a good solution to that, you will have a really good app. And we believe that we have done that with Capture, and we are, of course, continuing to develop this uh, further to get an a even better app than we have today. I mean, I, I don't see any big difference in making a big or a small app uh, because all users are important users. And whether you are developing for one or for a million or for 10 million, you still need to be working in a good way. Uh, so yeah, it has to be a good app, whatever you're doing, even if it's one or it's for a million. You're most welcome. <laughs>